as I've told y'all in the past, I'm approached all the time, every week, if not every day, um, for someone wanting me to review their product. And typically I turn them down. I turn down 90, 95 or more percent of them. Uh, but when uh, Ben contacted me about Brunt boots, I took a look at my old boots and uh, <laughs> realized maybe it was time to step up a little bit. So he sent me a pair of boots. I told him when, before he sent them that I'm very hard to fit and that it was unlikely they were going to fit and going to be a good, good, going to be a good fit for me. Uh, he sent them anyway, said he was uh, confident. And I tell you what, uh, even though I'm hard to fit, I'm in 11 4E, 11 4E, extra wide. But what they've done here with this boot is they've, they've got a, a system that if you take one of the, it's got two inserts in here. That's the main insert. A gel, feels like gel, maybe not. Maybe just a foam rubber. Real thick, real comfortable, but they've got an insert just under that, a real small one, very thin one, and if you've got a wide foot, you take this one out. And he told me about that, and I just didn't believe it. I, again, I'm very hard to fit. I don't normally buy shoes online uh, because I, they just they don't fit, and I have sent them back. And I told Ben that we were going to have a problem probably, but... He, he just kind of smiled and said, no, we're not. Um, so if you take this, if you take this small insert, the gray insert out, the boot goes from a, a D, a normal width, to a wide width just by taking out that insert. I assume it drops your foot a little lower in the footbed, and that's where it's got a little bit more room down there. Uh, just, by, just by removing that little, that little area there, that's little over an eighth of an inch not even a quarter inch and so when you take that out and then put the big the good thick and so back in and these are called the bold duck b-o-l-d-u-c brand they've got a lot of different brands i don't like a lace-up boot i've never liked a lace-up boot i've worn them in the past and just always i just don't like a lace-up the first time I tried them on, I didn't take the insert out. I put my foot in it, and I thought, you know, that's for a boot, that's not bad as far as my, my fit, my width. And then I took the little insert out and pulled them on. It's got the, the loops here for, for pulling them on. Socks are a little wet from sweat. And I tell you what, those feel good. I've got a little room to roam around in there, my toes to kind of roam around some. And those really fit and look great. I, I am blown away. Man, now I don't wear boots a lot in the summertime. Um, I'm a tennis shoe guy in the summertime. It's hot. Dad gum. It's 104 down here all week, next week. So I don't wear a lot of boots in the summertime unless I'm outside doing something like chainsawing, walking through the pasture, uh, something kind of snaky, something like that. Then I'm going to wear a pair of boots. The guy that owns the company designed the boot. Uh, has a lot of friends that work in the trades, and he, he just asked them, what do you want? What are you looking for in a boot? What do you need? What do you not like about the boots that uh, are offered to you now, that, that what you have to work with now? And they told him, and he designed a boot to fit people that actually work outside, people that are actually going to work their boots. And uh, just handsome boot, well-stitched, triple stitching all the way around here. Uh, I, I just, man, I don't see anything wrong with it. That is just a beautiful leather. Um, I, I hate to wear them outside and, <laughs> and get them dirty and oily. Again, that's what I normally do to a pair of boots. So I'm going to really hate to mess these up, but uh, as comfortable as they are, 
Uh, I'm going to be messing these up somewhat. They got steel toes. I wore steel toes for 40 something years. Now I hope I don't ever see another steel toe. So that's not what I wanted. I told him up front I didn't want any kind of steel toe. But they got a composition toe too, I think. There's, they, you need to go to the website and look because they've got all sorts of nice looking, nice looking boots. They've got some that look like they could be for hiking, things like that. But typically, and most of what they're catering to is the work crew. These are work boots and uh, just a beautiful boot that I cannot believe fits me. And I am proud to have them, and I appreciate Ben reaching out to me. And you need to go check them out. If you're in need of a, a, a good pair of boots, uh, check out Brunt Boots. I'll have the link below in the description. Uh, look down there, check them out, see if they've got something you like. I think they will. I really believe they will. Appreciate Ben sending them. So give them a look. Go to the website and take a look. I'll have the link below. If they can fit me, they can fit anybody. I truly believe that. So give them a shot. Take a look. I appreciate you. And we're gone.